Trap Red here in the garage. Just took my t-shirt off because it's hot. Got to get on this puppy. The CM400E. It's running. It's running real good, real strong. Rebuilt the engine, but it's smoking, so I got to pull the heads off and check it all out. See what probably the uh, oil seals are leaking. I didn't change those at the time because I didn't have valve uh, spring compressor. But now I got some over there along with a bunch of other tools. This is a nice tool we have for analyzing um, <clears throat> computer-controlled uh, OB1, OBD1 and OBD2 systems from Innova. They're out of Irvine, California, just down the road, just over the hill, about... 55 miles or so. I used to work down there. This is a 3120B uh, model. It's pretty nice. Real nice, actually. We try to get the software to install on the Apple. Uh, anyways, this uh, this with this uh, particular instrument, you can do a lot of analyzing, a lot of diagnosing, and it, it uh, will diagnose the error codes for you and come up and freeze frame the data and you can examine it in the computer import it anyways getting back to this problem we have a p0505 problem and so i ordered new uh, o2 sensors and as you can see i got the connector off the upstream connector now but it won't come out easily because of this heat shield on the exhaust system so we're in the process taking out and taking off the connections that hold this <clears throat> transmission radiator actually uh, yeah this is uh, this little radiator right here for the um, it's the air con air conditioning compressor not the transmission but uh, that radiator itself has to come out so you have to disconnect this connector right here that's got to come loose they're kind of hard to get they make them with little Japanese fingers in mind anyways I got to get some long nose pliers depress that pull that out and then take this hose loose way down in here I don't know if you can see that right here see that hose right in here that's got to come loose and then this will come out already got this harness then I'll be able to take this out to take that shield off at least to the point where I can maneuver and get a tool in there and see if I can extract that O2 sensor. It's going to be tough. I can tell already because of the way the thing's positioned. It's, uh, does, they don't give you too much room for an egg ring in here. You can see down in here maybe. It's pretty tight. It's pretty cram-packed. So, I'm going to take a little break and come back. This is part one of this. Uh, I'm also going to take this fuel line loose right here. I think this is the fuel filter right here mechanism. It's also got to feed down into the, uh, the valve down here for the uh, evap can. And these are the things that are showing the errors. The VAP can is coming on the CAT and the O2 on the P0505. So I was thinking we'll clean the fuel injectors, which are these four, one, two, three, four. Take the fuel rail, which is right here. Take this whole rail off and clean the, there's little caps, little screen caps on the fuel injector. I was going to pull those out and manually clean those and then, um, Reinsert them and re uh, fix the f fuel line and uh, so on and so forth before we uh, actually go ahead and try to do any testing on the system later on today or early tomorrow. This is Trap Red. I'll get back with you. It's a Civic 1998 Civic Honda EX. And it has the P0505 air code in it. Other than that, it's running great. Smooth idle. And uh, we're going to use this Innova tester to pull the data later. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Trap red.